On March 3rd, in an all-mail-in ballot election, Littleton, Colorado voters get to weigh in on Ballot Measure 300. It's a pretty simple measure that simply says that voters need to approve urban renewal projects that put taxpayers' dollars at risk through the use of tax increment financing. Not too long ago, former Littleton Mayor Doug Clark came on the Independence Institute's television show, Devil's Advocate, to explain just what tax increment financing is, how it puts taxpayers' dollars at risk, and why Measure 300 is so important. Check it out. If something was going to develop on that piece of property, the market would have done it. If it hasn't developed, that's because the bankers who actually risk the money and the developers who risk their skin in the game have both decided that it's too risky of an investment to do. So what happens is government, through urban renewal authorities, comes in and says, we're going to remove part of that risk because we think we're smarter than the market is. So we're going to force a development to happen on this piece of property that would not normally happen through market forces. And we're going to put a group of people, the Urban Renewal Authority Board, in charge of it that have no experience with retail or development or anything else. So it's almost guaranteed not to be successful. If it's successful, it's probably because they luck into it.